Uh, we are live this morning, by the way, at the Wendy's Charity Challenge featuring Legends of the LPGA, where yesterday at Country Club of Jackson, Cindy Fig Courier, originally from Michigan, as I understand it, mm-hmm. won the challenge. And the lady who can confirm that for us is Sue Fracker, right now the tournament director for the Wendy's Charity Classic. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Can I have you sit close to that microphone yep. and just talk right into it like you're talking into a telephone? And oh. Thanks for being up so early this morning. Now, when we say Legends Tour, LPGA Legends Tour, what does that mean? Well, the Legends Tour is the senior LPGA tour, basically. It's um, the women's version of the Champions Tour on a PGA Tour. And the men, they have to be 50 or older to play. Yeah, and the ladies have to be 45 plus. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we won't ask anybody their ages because we no, know they're... We just assume every one of them is 45. That's <laughs> how, we, how, we, how we roll. Okay, well, some tour. of the 45-year-olds <laughs> who played yesterday at Jackson are Pat Bradley, Elaine Crosby, Cindy Fig Courier, I mentioned, of course, and Elaine Crosby lives right here. That's right. Plays at Country Club of Jackson, who's very well known in the state of Michigan. Rosie Jones is here. Betsy King, these are names you know. Barb Mucha, she won up the road, if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. at Walnut Hills when the uh, Oldsmobile yeah. Classic Back was in the there. mid-'80s, I think she pulled that off. Uh, Cindy Rarick is here, and Jan Stevenson. These are names you know, and plenty of others, too. And so today there will be a pro-am, I understand. That's correct. Uh, There's another 18 holes for the ladies, but it's a pro-am uh, with uh, four amateurs, a scramble event, so it's a little more relaxed than it was yesterday. But. These were, this was, uh, in, lest you think this was just an exhibition, these ladies were seriously competing yesterday. Yeah, yesterday's purse was $100,000, and uh, Cindy Fig picked up $15,000 for winning first place. So, yeah, it was Kind of competitive out there for 18 holes. So. She's happy to come home to Michigan, I think, anytime she can. She did mention that last night at the party when she was uh, awarded the check. She was like, it's so great to come home and certainly to be victorious. She just won in Texas, which is where she lives now, uh, a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. So, One in both places. Terrific. And, you know, we, we uh, it's Mount Pleasant where she was from originally. Correct. The uh, Riverwood Golf Club. I think the family still owns it, don't they? Mm-hmm. I believe so, yeah. That's I'll be on a little bit later. You'll be able to talk to her. We'll find all that. find about all that. So. so can people come and watch today if they want to? They uh, sure can. Uh, it's uh, ten dollars at the gate donation to the uh, charity, which is Wendy's Wonderful Kids, and uh, kids under seventeen and military personnel are all free. So. This is at the Country Club of Jackson, starting at ten o'clock this morning. Gates open uh, at uh, nine o'clock, and the competition starts at ten. And this event would be autograph friendly, I would think, during the pro am. Not Absolutely. during yesterday's competition, but uh, well, that's one thing about the Legends Tour that we really pride ourselves on. I mean, our players are somewhat more approachable than, yeah. uh, than the other tours. So they're very fan-friendly, and today especially, yeah. Uh, certainly after the, after they hit, they're, they'd love to sign autographs. So. What's your background? Um, I actually started uh, directing this event back in 2003. Um, I've, since they started in 99, I've been on the committee, but uh, I took over directing in 03 and worked for Wendy's for a while and then uh, actually freelanced for the Legends Tour for a number of years doing real-time scoring and so forth. And mm-hmm. then... Uh, Started directing events for them in 05, so now I'm full-time director of events for the Legends Tour. Can you tell me about the charity for this event and how much um, you raise? I sure can. Uh, it's Wendy's Wonderful Kids, which is an uh, adoption program um, around the state of Michigan where they hire a specific recruiter at each agency to just focus on kids who have been waiting the longest in the foster care system. So they match children who are typically age 8 to 17 um, with adoptive parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're very focused on kids with special needs and, and so forth. And we fund uh, these recruiters directly. So we've raised 1.3 million uh, since we started. And that's not including what we raised in this event, which will be determined a little bit later today. So. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. How's your golf game? Well, <laughs> you know, it's funny. When I started working for a golf company, I stopped playing golf, so yeah. it's just there's just not enough time. But I used to I used to play a little bit. So. That's the adage: everybody who works in the golf business doesn't have time to play golf. No, we're just taking care of the the ones that get to. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there a web address or anything like that? Uh, you can go to thelegendstour.com and okay. learn all about this particular event. All right. Thank you very much for yeah, having us. Bet. Congratulations! Yeah. And uh, again, having, these yeah. are names everybody knows: mm-hmm. uh, Pat Bradley, Elaine Crosby, Cindy Fig Courier, Betsy King, and Cindy. Some of these uh, players will join us later when they come out here. Uh, Get ready for the pro am. Yeah, Thanks for having absolutely. us. Thank Country you. Club of Jackson is where you can find us wherever you're listening this morning.